uh, so let us come back and do your 2007 paper. In 2007 paper, let us read the questions first. So describe, uh, <coughs> sorry, describe the general trends and the following properties in the first series of transition elements. Okay, they want us to explain these concepts for the first series. That is a 3D series. Done. Uh, stability of plus 2 oxidation state okay I have done this uh, also this video which I have numbered as video number 18 in the playlist of your demon laptop I think uh, we have uh, labeled it as explain the stability of plus 2 oxidation state in transition elements so please watch that video next formation of oxo cate oxo metal ions okay now whenever I have to answer this question basically you have to just say that is your oxo or oxygen and your metal atom combination of your oxygen and the metal atom forms oxo metal ion so what are they in transition series okay i'm writing transition metals is ts so in transition series you have formation of metal oxides of type mo then it's going to form metal oxides of type mo2 it's going to form metal oxides of type m2o3 it's also going to form metal oxides of type m3o6 so such are the different combinations but important scandium because of its configuration 3d1 4s2 scandium does not form metal oxides remember this does not form metal oxides okay this is one important thing the next important thing you can mention in that if i take okay they have asked us uh, formation of okay i have written the formation you also add this point where vanadium tries to you you've seen different combinations isn't it? Mang manganese it's stable in plus 2 and plus 7 so what is the combination It's going to form m and plus 2 and m uh, uh, plus 2 as for plus 2 oxidation state and uh, uh, it's also going to form with plus 7 oxidation state higher oxide in the same way vanadium also forms combination of metal oxide what to attain like to form a stable oxide i've already shown in one video where vanadium is going to form metal oxide with this combination yes it's also going to form metal oxide like vo4 minus combination so such is okay minus 3 is a uh, valency done minus 3 combination so here this is in plus uh, vo2 plus combination vo4 minus okay done metal oxide so these are the stable forms of your vanadium if i have to take manganese mn2o7 manganese again minus so this is our metal oxide so or ox oxo anions or oxo metal ions so you can just write transition elements general form transition elements anomaly transition elements stable forms that completes your answer done so let us erase this part and come back so i've done this question i've done this question also now let us come back to this question so when I have to write this question, how do I write this answer? What do they give me? Transition elements exhibit variable oxidation state. Okay, same question. And if I have to write this, why do they exhibit variable oxidation state? Because of only one keyword. Presence of N minus 1 or participation of N minus 1. Let us write participation. Okay. Participation. Participation of n minus 1 d and ns electrons so because of the participation of n minus 1 d ns electron it's going to show variable oxidation state ranging from plus 1 in copper till plus 7 in manganese so this is your keyword this is important for this question so next question what do they ask me why are transition metal atoms colored okay when they ask you this color concept write one keyword i've already shown you in the video color word if it is given just use this keyword that is due to dd transition this is what the examiner expects you to write dd transition yes shift of t2g set electron from the t2g set to the eg set so why is this dd transition observed what is making them Be the unpaid electrons because of unpaid d electrons it's going to show dd transition that's it you will finish up your answer like this let us come back and meet the b do the b part of 2007 paper right let us come back and do the part b of your 2007 paper already i've done the part a and now in part b again all the three questions i've already done let's see this they've asked us to show the preparation of potassium dichromate from your 
sodium chromate okay or uh, i already told ferrochrome or sodium chromate you please learn that video 56 now this preparation again came in a four from k to mno4 i've done in a video which is labeled under video number 52 in the playlist please watch that i have given a detailed explanation of that particular question then next comes the last question of t block element in 2007 paper what is lanthanide contraction so a detailed explanation of lanthanide contraction is again dealt in video number 43 please watch the video you'll have a clear idea never solve board papers directly but my request is try to go to all the concepts keep noting in your book keep memorizing and learning it understand understanding is very important if you understand the concept nothing any if, I, if they give you the question you'll be able to do after that come back to your board papers so i'm done with your d block chapter now i'll be starting with your next new chapter in organic chemistry that is your amines so let us come back and start with your amines chapter